Another day, another hijacking, and once again, the Indian Navy to the rescue. It was a very dangerous mission, a maritime chase, a commando operation, and finally, a daring rescue. It's a big success for the Indian Navy. They've successfully thwarted a hijacking attempt. They have cemented their role as first responders in the Indian Ocean. But how did this operation pan out? Well, here's what we know. On Thursday evening, the Indian Navy received a message, sort of like a distress call. It came from a Liberia flagged ship near Somalia, a ship called MV Leela Norfolk. And what did the message say? That five or six armed men had boarded their ship. Clearly a hijacking attempt. So the Navy sprung to action. First, a patrol aircraft was dispatched. This morning, it reached the hijacking site. It established contact with the vessel. Then a warship was deployed, the Indian Navy's INS Chennai. It reached the hijacked vessel around evening today. And once there, Indian commandos took over. They boarded the ship. They secured the 21 crew members. And finally, they sanitized the vessel. In other words, they tried to clear out the pirates. Didn't have to, though. Turns out the hijackers fled the vessel. The Navy says their warnings probably made them flee. So the ship and the crew is safe. In fact, 15 of those crewmen were Indian. I guess that was added mot motivation for the Navy. They've released footage of this operation. Take a look. Now, usually these hijackings follow a set pattern. Take control, sail to a safe port, then seek ransom. But who was behind this hijacking attempt? Looks like Somali pirates. Last month, they hijacked a Malta flagged ship. It was called MV Ruin. Even then, the Indian Navy was the first responder. Another possibility is the Houthi rebels, though highly unlikely at this point, because most of their operations have focused on attacking ships, hijacking, is not their MO. We've also done some digging on the Leela Norfolk. It was sailing from Brazil to Bahrain. In that case, it doesn't really need the Red Sea. It can sail through the Persian Gulf. So right now, Somali pirates are the top suspects, not the Houthis of Yemen. If you think that that's better, it's not. Somali pirates were active in the last two decades, and they were a real headache. In 2011 alone, they attacked some 212 ships, they cost the global economy $18 billion a year. But in 2019, they sort of disappeared. We had more naval patrols, more joint operations. Also, the government in Somalia had cracked down. And this was the result. The pirates disappeared. But why are they back now? Because of the Red Sea situation. It's classic criminal mentality. You see the crime rate shoot up, you join. It's a major, major concern for shipping perhaps even bigger than the Houthis. Just think about it. The Houthis may stop if the Gaza war ends, but the pirates probably would not. It may require another multinational effort. So to recap, the Indian Ocean has two security challenges now. The Houthis in the Red Sea and the pirates in the Arabian Sea. It's a double whammy for India because around 20% of our trade passes through this region. This security minefield, 20% of India's trade, as a result, costs are rising. Insurers are charging more. The crew is charging more. Reports say overall rates could be 30 to 40% higher. So New Delhi is weighing some changes. It is looking to subsidize Indian exports, basically offset the rising costs. The government has already said rice exports have been affected. Next could be fruits, vegetables, and garments. So clearly there is a concern. But subsidies alone would not address that, which is why India has deployed warships. Three of them are already in the region, INS Mormugao, INS Kochi, and INS Kolkata. All three are guided missile destroyers. Now a fourth has arrived there, INS Chennai. And these are very powerful ships. They can launch missiles. They can battle submarines. They can also move in stealth. Now, to give you some context, the U.S. has only deployed three warships in the Red Sea. India has four in the Indian Ocean. Tells you how serious the threat is. 
Of course, it's not a new role for India. As the Defence Minister said recently, India is the region's net security provider and in these cases, the first responder. But there's a difference between responding and preventing. Shipping companies want to prevent these attacks. Only then will they return to the Red Sea. Unfortunately, that is beyond India's control.